Good morning everyone. It is uh, nice and early. Well, actually, what time is it? It's four minutes past three and we've still got we got to wait an hour and a half until we get on the, on the train. We managed to get on a, a little bit earlier, but the, fortunately the crossing was full, so we got stitched up. The geezer was like, yeah, mate, get on the earlier one. <laughs> and then we got in and there was this little suit. No, oh, I'm sorry, it's too full. Um, managed to get through the customs all right. The bait's loaded, boy. <laughs> they scanned us. They saw the S-Core and they knew it was the good stuff, so... That was it. It's not not a problem. Didn't even look at our declaration, our statement. Is it a statement of intent? Yeah, that's the one. Didn't even look at that. And really. Covid passports. And Covid all that. passports. Nothing. The French geezer just was like, "Bonjour, you're oui. right. Are we right? You're right, boss." Gave him the, <laughs> the passport and uh, and he just looked at it for like a second. Was like, "Yeah, yeah." Go, go on through. <laughs> so, to be honest, it's been quicker than what I've had before pre pre Covid. I was worried about all these different forms and stuff, but it seems like it's actually not as uh, intense as what I first thought. So we're waiting. A lot. Some of the boys are. They, they, Marcus did a stitch up, and he got he got here earlier, and he's he's already halfway around Bill State, looking at all the spots. Classic like, Marcus. Got, yeah, classic Marcus. Yeah, he got there a little bit earlier, um, and he's he's driving on through. Carl's, I think, uh, is going to be on this crossing. Some of the other boys are also um, on their on their way, uh, like in France. But yeah, it's been good. We we actually rather than. We'd have had to leave at 11 o'clock from, from Dorset, but what we've done, we, we managed to get a hotel and stay in Folkestone. We had a nice old Turkish meal, didn't oh, she we? She was lovely, wasn't she? Got a nice kebab and that from the Turkish restaurant, proper nice. Stayed in the hotel, managed to get about four and four and a half hours sleep, rather than panicking and not sleeping. It's like, we just spoke to Marcus on the phone, and he uh, he, woke, he hasn't been asleep since five o'clock yesterday morning, so see, see we've got that, that four hour sleep, that gives us just that little bit. Um, extra and I would always advise people to do that I've done it myself where we've got to the lake actually haven't slept for about 36 hours and when when you've not been sleeping even for 24 hours and you get to a big lake and you've got a, you've done your, your swim spotting and you've walked it and then you've got to find your spots and set up all your gear it's actually a bit of a nightmare because you're just completely gassed running on running on fumes so just getting that extra little bit of sleep and yeah. cutting out the driving I think is a, is a big advantage really so just waiting to, to get on that crossing. As soon as we get into France, we we'll get some more fuel, get a nice little custard tart, tart and then, <laughs> yeah, we'll be on our way. Fingers crossed. Um, I'll keep you updated, but look, looking so a smooth transition so far. La France, hey. <laughs> what are you looking at? Just watching a little sniper film, mate. We're going to French territory, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be ready for anything, mate. What's happening then, Billy? Where are we? We're, we're on the cross, we're on the crossing. We made it. Finally. We made it. We were a bit delayed though, weren't we? Two years later for me. Uh, it took Where are we going? We are going to Bill's Lake. Oh, we haven't even said that, have we? Yeah. We are off to the infamous Bill's Lake. Been around for a long time, um, heard about it. I remember back when I was probably about 18, 19, phoning up Bill, um, particularly interested uh, because there was a bit of a river which I heard that you could catch in Barbalon. So I remember phoning him and asking him about it. But we never booked in the end. We were going going to Road Deer back then, or that was even before we went to Road Deer. So times have moved on. I must admit, it's um, it seems like quite a commercial venue, and I will set the expectations here. It's not been fishing pretty well, is it? No. It's not been fishing well at all, um, from what I can see. Really slow. They had because, like, like I just mentioned, there's rivers. Um, the lakes. It's really beautiful. It's like a lovely bit of river, and then there's kind of like lakes pocketed all around. And France had some big flooding a, a couple of months ago, and uh, a lot of water got in there. And it's it's been up. The water temperature um, it's dropped. is is still pretty cold. Obviously, all <coughs> of that 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 um, fresh river, uh, French river water made it into the lake. And yeah, it's, the water temperature's been down. There's been some weeks. There's only been one or two caught you know, for a while now. Um, I think Bill had a couple. Bill himself, he was fishing it last week, and he only did three nights with one of his mates. They had a couple, including uh, a sixty something pounder. Yeah, roof's fish, isn't it? Roof's fish. What sixty? Sixty-seven, wasn't it? I can't remember. Sixty-five. Something like that. Anyway, anyway, big fish. Um, it's one of the biggest ones in there. So he's uh, nabbed that one before we could get our hands on it. Hopefully, it likes a double capture. But yeah, so I thought better set the expectations. Uh, it's going to be. I already know. Um, you know, it's. It, I, I definitely always like to be positive and I'm always confident but you can just tell when things from catch reports when things are tough you know it, when I come to France you know, I'm always I'm going to carve it up you always have that in your head but I, I know that it's not going to quite be like that you, you never quite know how it's going to pan out it might catch loads of fish but I just think it's going to it's going to be tricky um, don't know the lake at all obviously um, with the whole draw uh, it's always the same thing you know I like to take a long time at finding the fish and 
and, and all the rest of it and been able to move on them and all the rest of it but you get to even if you arrive at a lake mm. and all the fish in one area that's just then yeah 24 hours it could be completely different than winds you know. change everything yeah weather's, weather's changed, changed. Um, at the moment for the next three or three <coughs> days four days it's got good south southwesterly winds yeah. about 13 kilometers an hour yeah which isn't too bad yeah and then it picks up doesn't it yeah and it starts to get some proper winds um for, you know so as we start to get to like tuesday wednesday and then it cuts off and then swings back round um, so we've got a bit of that to go on. A couple on. of swims in mind, don't we, based yeah, on that? area based on, on the weather. Um, we've got to go then, have a good look around, really, yeah, as definitely. you should always do when you go to any lake. I always find this time of year, um, you know, deeper, siltier areas in the open water, um, always, you know, holds the fish. We're getting into water, we are into water now. What is the date? It's the 1st of October. 2nd no, of second, October. 2nd yeah, oh, yeah, of second. October, so we're, we're well into it now, really, although it has been pretty warm. Um, however, Bill did send us a message two days ago and it dropped from 13 degrees the night before to 1 degrees. Uh, and that's not going to do any favours with the water temperature. And like I said, we've got rain forecast for the first yeah. four days, which hopefully it won't, we won't get any river flooding and we'll have to get washed out. But pretty low to, um, air pressure. It's below the 1,000 yeah. mark, isn't it? So. So it's prime, like, you, in the UK, I'd be, like, buzzing. Like, don't care, getting wet, this is it. This is big carp, autumn, big winds, get on the end of it, you know. A lot of boily, just yeah. smash it out. We've got good bait with us, which is good. We've got free customs, yeah. haven't we? Whee! <laughs> Cheers, Boris. We've got our rigs, bait. If anyone was worrying about that, um, we basically, um, we didn't, like, hide it or anything. It was just in the back, and, you know, we prepared, you we know. We opened the back up as well, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, he goes, like, oh, you're going fishing, saw the rods. He had a nice Vespa parked by by the station. I was like, "Is that your Vespa, bro?" And he was like, "Yeah." I was like, "She's a she's a beauty." Um, and <laughs> You're chat, buttering him up a bit. Yeah, always buttering up. Just you know, <laughs> uh, just uh, and he just went, "Yep, yeah, fishing." See a lot of the lads. <coughs> we went through the scanner. They scanned it all. And we even had like buckets of pellet right in the front, didn't yeah. we? And, and they just didn't say anything about it. So. You know, I don't think they're that bothered. I have heard people, rumours of people getting their stuff taken away. I think it's scaremongering more than yeah, anything. Yeah, definitely. But I don't actually know anyone that's been stopped or fined. So, yeah, if I was you, just go for it. Um, you know, I always say stick to the rules, but on this one, you need your bait, didn't you? Unfortunately, we've got some bait, some Nash bait, haven't we? Um, ordered yeah. from Bills, and then obviously we brought a load of Richworth with us. Not a load, because it's not fishing that well, but we brought some Richworth bait. So, yes, it's... Uh, What's been going up? How long? We've probably got about another 20 minutes on the crossing. Yeah, I think so. I mean, a three and a half hour journey just to get there before 10, isn't it? Before the draw happens. Yep. So hopefully we get a bit of time to walk on the lake. We yeah. should do anyway. The other lads, uh, there's a few lads are probably nearly there already. They left. We left Coventry, Manchester, haven't they? Cornwall. Yeah. They've, well, had, a, they've had a long journey. But, must um, be knackered. So we're the only ones that did the hotel before and got. Yeah. We've had four hours sleep, so we're a little bit fresher. Even though I'm still a bit. No, I'm still knackered. I'm still full from the food, mate. Yeah, they must be knackered. <laughs> Still food from the tur- still full, still full from the Turkish food, so it's looking good. Um, we we'll just have to, yeah, gonna stop, get myself a nice custard tart, get some fuel, Snag. yeah, get a couple <laughs> of Red Bulls, and uh, get a tea, and yeah, we'll be we'll be on our way soon. So we'll keep you updated. Fingers crossed, it'll be a smooth ride. <clears throat> Custard tart, the French flan, or the French flanny, as we've been calling it—a nice bit of French flanny. <laughs> um, got it in here. Get it for me, mate. Whoa. It's about time. Can you get it out for me. Show the board. Show them what it is, mate. This is pretty epic. I just had mine. That is so nice. Oh, oh that's the look at that. Freshly baked. There you go, my son. Oh, fucking have that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh. French flannel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, straight in there, mate. <laughs> yeah. oh. Good. That's perfect, mate. They put it in your lap for you, Mitch. Yeah. Yeah.
Fuck. Refugee. <laughs> What are you doing there then, Greener? Just getting ready for tonight. Getting ready for tonight? What's going on? What? Little bag rig. Is that a little double grain oh, off? Double grain let's off. Have pink, a little, let's have a little stuff. look at that. Something different, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it looks good. What's the uh, Tottenham score then? 1 0. 1 0 to the Spurs. Old Hoyberg scored an outside the box banger. Was Actually, it wasn't a banger, it was. It was own goal, was it? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get some carp, haven't we? We've got to get some, mate. We've fished hard, mate, we have. Yeah. But we've had free bream, and that's free bream more than the next man, so. That's true. Keep you know. Fish in the area. Greener heard some boshers. Yeah, over your side, so hopefully you'll get one. Fingers crossed, she'll be churn, churn, churn. Churning balls of fire. <laughs> be careful there, you get nailed behind you. Ah, uh, ooh, secrets. Greener's little bags of tricks there, look, look at you, got all the gear. All the gear, no fucking idea. Off to Poland. <laughs> There we go. How big, mate? 51.5. 51.5, first fish of the trip. Spanked it. <sighs> at the bay. Is that a PB? Oh, PB, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's coming then. <laughs> go on, Greener, do the honours. Do you want one now? Hey, yeah, go on, we've got to get it. Up, yeah, you got to. <laughs> get it ready, Billy. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm filming. Oh. Got to lift it back up for the camera. Pleasure to be with you. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh no. Yes, you aim for his chest, mate. Yes. You can tell what, what part of the body you like. Well done, mate. Yeah, I'm right. You slipped up that one. Look at the fucking back on that. Get a saddle on that bad boy. Oh, that is a champ. He's so going to run to my line. Yeah. I thought I was going to wait. Oh, come on. Oh. 60 and three quarters. New PB. 60. Absolutely. Made up with this one. Beasted you. Last bit of strength now. <laughs> Go on, lift it up, mate. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was Come a cheap. On. That was a cheap bucketing. That was got away with that one. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> nah, green has got one. Sixty pounder, fucking beautiful. Back. Size of that. Oh, I was going up to the G. <laughs> <laughs> He's going under the rods. There he is, the hero of the moment, the sixty-pound slayer. My back is broken. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it really. Head's gone a bit. This I morning. couldn't believe it, mate. I had, to, I had to conduct, mate. I was looking after you. Oh, I got this morning, I was like, did that really just happen? <laughs> and um, yeah, sure enough, it did. We've got a couple uh, of toasties, aren't we? We're just about to do some toasties. Yeah, celebrate. Get, get the kettle on. A bit of a brew, aren't we? A couple of toasties. We're going to go to the river today, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to go to the river. I've seen some nice chocolate. Basically, I'll show you, but I'll film a bit of it. But there's a nice river, and there's definitely some uh, barbel and chub in there. And I think there's probably quite a few carp in there. And we're going to go have a good old mooch, find a few spots, bait up, and probably start fishing it in the day because nothing's really happening in the day here. And then come back and make sure the rods are all ready and actually just get a bit of action. Yeah, in the day, just enjoy it. Yeah. You know, you never know. You might just get a fucking absolute massive river carp just next oh, yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm up for that. Stretch the legs a bit. Right then guys, this is the uh, my rig which I use to catch my PB on, the 60 pounder. It's my, um, I guess extra long sort of D rig. It's a bit different to what normally you know other people use. And my theory is that I kind of give them a bit more rope to get hung on. And I normally use, you know, a short rig between three to four inches. But I'd say this is over 12 inches. And when I brought my fish in, this was actually nailed right in the back of its mouth. And it just goes to show that that extra sort of length in the rig can really help you. 
Um, Especially with a big one. Yeah, that's what you want really, isn't it? A bit of security, knowing that you're going to land it. The main part of the, the rig, I guess, is the, the hook, and I use the old angling iron curve hooks in size two, which is quite a big hook, but it's extremely sharp, you know, straight out the packet. And I've got so much confidence in these, they're so strong, I've used them everywhere. Um, they have nice. such, you know, good patterns. And the actual hook link itself is, well, Billy, you know, he lent me uh, a bit of his PB products. Yeah, first part. time you're using it, innit? Yeah. First time and you get a 60. 60. <laughs> and to be fair, I'm actually really impressed with the product. You know, you can reel it off, cut it to shape and stretch it. And you'd have to use a, your kettle, which I've always had to use to stretch out stuff before. It just really, you know, pissed me off. If you want to be quick and efficient, you just want to just do it on the bank quickly. And um, yeah, you know, I knocked a few of these up and it was really easy to use. And I really like the product. It's really stiff and yeah, I know, it obviously I worked stuff. well. My trusty hook, hook bait, uh, the, you know, the Arctic Crab. I've had these glugged now for a good six months in the pellet oil, which is this wonderful stuff here. Turns the bait a slightly darker colour, which I like as well, so it's not so glaringly obvious on the bottom. And, you know, this pump out natural attraction. A little thing we've been playing around with is actually the Arctic Paste, which has only recently come out this year, and this stuff is amazing on rivers. Like, Billy can, you know, you can obviously tell from his previous videos, like down the river, the Y, and catching the barbel, it's just so attractive and so soluble in the water. And the fish here on this trip have been really difficult to catch. They haven't really been feeding much. And I think that little bit of extra attraction just gets them feeding. It's such a great product to use. It's so versatile. We put it in the bags, we put little bits in our mix. We break it up, we chuck it in the side, you know, everything. This as well, is, this is great. This is the, the power booster. Um, this is the Arctic Crab. It's so strong. It's, uh, it stinks. It absolutely stinks. Little bait really spray. Highly recommend this stuff. Great for zigs, great for your, your, your hook baits, everything. Plastics, it just stinks. Cast a really firm spot, a bit of a spread over the top. We used the bait boat actually, didn't we? Mm. Crumb, I used, I used chopped halves, crumb mm. and um, just bits in the crusher really, just a mix, just to get them grubbing. And yeah, it ripped off. I thought it was a bream to be fair, it came to me so fast. I was just a, I was a bit annoyed. I've been getting breamed up for the last few days. So I rounded in really quickly and um, all of a sudden there was just a strong sort of tug back and I was like, wow, what's that? And uh, <laughs> there we go. I knew there was something big on the end. But yeah, it's a great rig. I highly recommend it. Get on it, give it a go, and hope it lands you a nice fish. What are we doing, mate? Going to investigate some more spots down the river. The river here is insane, like, absolutely insane. So nice and clean, like, seen so, ma so many big chub. We know there's a lot of barbel in here. Obviously, a lot, a lot of the bream. We've put, we've put 12 bream in here, ourselves. What's going on in Billy? Well, it's like about an hour to, well, an hour or so till light. I think probably about an hour and a half. And I finally had one. Around, we haven't weighed it yet, but I reckon around the mid 20 mark. Massive head on it, wasn't it? Yeah, big Trump. old French head. Yeah, I was like, I said it was the, the biggest, smallest uh, 20 I've, I've seen. Massive, like a 30, 40 pound head. But a nice bit of scale on, it, on its tail and a nice looker. So it's uh, been a grueling couple of nights and hopefully it's just the start of things to come. Bloody freezing, isn't it? Yeah. The temperature's much colder than I thought it was going to be. It just feels really cold, and we're, we're we've been on the end of a, a sort of just on the end of a lot of cold winds, and it just yeah, it's getting to me a bit. The old uh, the old French weather. It feels colder than what it, feels it says. Feels like a winter it. season, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I don't know what it is. It's just like <coughs> the air. The air just feels really, really cold. What are your tactics then? Like, how do you catch it? Well. You know, we've been fishing the same areas um, out there, the deep, basically the, deep, the deepest water that we can find, the nice deep silty areas. There's pretty much not much features to go at. You've got some, sh some shallower bits in the edges um, and some slightly firmer like clay spots and some silty bits, but we found some nice deep silt and uh, you know, a bit of oily. We were using like, a bit of pellet and oil and stuff like that before, but we just got breamed out. Um, had so many bream at this point, using wafters, crab wafters. The old faithful. The good stuff. The Arctic crab, yes, cool. Free. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Smells good too. 
definitely lovely. We haven't used a huge lot of bait really, to be honest. Um, Almost fishing for a bite, aren't we? Yeah, that's it. That's what we do, just crumbing it up. You know, some crumb, some chops, some hole. Because to be honest, I think we're getting cleared out pretty quick. We're getting sort of a lot of bream through the night. I think we're on, I think we're 12 now between me and you. I think we're on six apiece. Yeah. You were leading the race with three in, and then I, I, I was sort of caught up, and then we've been going like one for one. Put them all in the river. The lake owners asked us to, uh, if we do catch any bream, then put them in the river. Yeah, but from what it sounds like, I don't think many people actually do it, but we've been, we've been doing it, we've been on pest control. One of the slings, <laughs> Greener's sling is absolutely slimed up, big time, it stinks. I can smell it from here. Ooh, bream. So hopefully, it's been you know a couple of nights since Greener had his chunk. Four, now four fish out? Yeah. Four total. fish out so far. <laughs> Um, Blues had one just short, literally, um, not, not, long, not long ago, um, probably about 20 minutes ago. So it's uh, going to kick off. Well, it's not going to kick off, is it? You never it's know. Not, you never know. Um, the weather's changing and we're getting a bit more rain, rain coming in. And then towards the end of the week, it gets clearer. Sorry if you can hear that, there's a train behind us. Absolutely churns past us. Um, yeah, the weather's swinging sort of towards the end of the week. We're getting a little bit more higher pressure. Um, clearer sky so it'll be colder at night um, which I'm not looking forward to but should get a bit more sun and maybe some of the more shallower areas that we investigated at the start of the week might come into its own we've been sort of keeping a bit of bait going in certain places but very little bits bits and bobs fingers crossed that we can uh, nick another couple chunks but that's it what our, the, the target was one each and a five as a group we won off the group target and we've had ours but I just want to be fair uh, you know, mid twenty. You know, I catch them all the time, really, in the UK. So we want a, uh, you know, I want a nice, you know, forty-five plus, big old Bills Lake Turner before we go. But fingers crossed for some more bites for the other boys as well. I need, I need to check. Oh, 20. What is it? 25. Oh, maybe it is. I said 25, yeah. isn't it? You're wasting my DAs. <laughs> Not <laughs> one of them kicks was checked. Fair play, mate. Starburst. Oh, yeah. Oh, Here's first one for me. I've been absolutely breamed out the last couple of days. All the fish have been stacked down the other end of the lake with the boys in the bay. Finally managed to nick one on the Escort. Escort 3, the Arctic Crab. How so big? 25, mate, on the on the nose, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, nice one. Flip it around, I'll show you the other side. But yeah, it's weird. It's got like a head of like a 30 pounder, 40 pounder. Yeah. This side's actually pretty, pretty nice. Oh, that, it's, Temperature's massively dropped again, and it's bloody Baltic. Winter is on its way fully. And that's, uh, that's good. 25. Bills like carp. So yeah, I don't know. 35 pounds smaller than Greener's last <laughs> one, but still a fish, mate. Nonetheless, still a fish. Still a fish. So. It. How big? Um, 39.1. There we go. Beautiful specimen. Just like greener. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's get her back. Beauty. Get her back. Bump 
Ooh, one. Sweet. Bill needs to work on his potholes. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, we've reeled in, got our uh, given our batteries, both some of our boat batteries to Bill, and we're going off to the supermarket just to get a bit of food in that. I've got a really bad toothache. I've had tooth, tooth nightmares for the last three weeks. I've had a filling done. I had an old uh, wisdom tooth root removed, and I and I am. Um, I think I fear the worst. I'm going to have to have root canal, which, to be fair, I've already got it booked in for as soon as as soon as we come back. It's absolutely killing me. I keep thinking to myself, I'm going to get my little tiger nut drill and get greener to just hold it and just drill right up in there and release all the pressure. I'm sure there's a load of where, where there's an abscess. I'm sure there's a load of pus. So. But I've just take, got some antibiotics and I, so just taking some of those. Gonna get some rum, aren't we? Gonna, gonna, <laughs> yeah, that will kill it off, but I'm absolutely knackered. Nothing last night, definitely got done. These fish are, so this lake's been open for 20 years. It's one of sort of the, the uh, original kind of commercial holiday carp fisheries, I would say. So it's, the fish are pretty rigging, pretty pressured. And I've, I've definitely noticed that we, no, we haven't had like a proper, no one has had a proper ripper really. They've all been really finicky bites. Yeah. And I've definitely got done last night, 100%. That, that, you know, I've got my, my best on, I've got real heavy lead, razor sharp hook, real stiff kind of short fluorocarbon and D rig type hook, uh, rig, just with a wafter on, you know, absolutely number one choice for, for hooking, smashing big ones on, a, on a, almost like a flat clear bottom. So it's, uh, yeah, it's proving tricky. And say, so, mate, you just had a comment that like you would have seen that. So we've done. We're on five now. Five fish. We're on Wednesday, so we've still got a bit of time. But I was starting to feel like there was a bit of a pattern. And from us, we were doing a fish a night from our swim from the second night, and now it's slowed right down. Even though there was a couple of fish actually in front of us once, it was the first time where we actually saw some fish and heard some fish in front of us where they've all been stacked in the bay. Not a huge amount, but there's a couple that have drifted down, so I kind of was expecting. And I do think both me and Green have got done last night. Mm. So I'm just going to have to make a... I've got an idea of a couple of tweaks that I'm going to make. It's going to be a, a bit of a up the lead size, inline lead, short braided rig and, and really, you know, really shock them and smash them. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then we yeah, just keep plugging along. Just, just a couple of little tweaks, nothing too major, no hook bait changes, no complete rig changes, just, just a few different tweaks and bits and bobs and hopefully we can connect because like I say there is some big fish in here. You see green is like that 60 and there's a couple there's quite a few more sixties to go at and a couple of seventies. A high one that could go over go near eighty, so that's what we want in it. Yeah man. We want that big boy. You've had your big one now, you're retired, yeah. it's my turn. I'm just here for the food now, mate. <laughs> You're just here for the French food. Well, I've had a, had a mid-20. You know, don't exactly come to France for that. Still a nice fish, but I know. I feel... I've got, well, I've got a feeling that there's a... I still think you're going to get one, mate, a big one. There's some boys that are definitely probably going to go home carpless. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a tough lake, isn't it? Yeah, it's not at easy. At the moment, it's fishing really tough because of the, fl the floods and the water temperature. So, we will see. And we're just about to cross over the old train line. This is metal, this bit. Yeah, so so you can hear it at night. Proper train, though. Look at that. But what we're going to do after we come, we, you know, get a bit of grub. I might get one of them cellar pots. Yeah, mate. Uh, we, some, we need some good food, don't yeah, we? Proper tidy, that. We're going to have a bit of a social tonight, get some KFC, and uh, go from there. Go down the river as well, aren't we? Oh, we, yeah. We baited. We baited a spot. To be fair, we baited quite heavy. Um, not yesterday, because yesterday was a write-off because we were absolutely hammering it down. We'll be baited. About uh, four spot, kilo, wasn't it? Yeah, four kilo the day before. Um, and it's right deep bit near a snag, but it's nice and firm. And it looks like it does get fish, so, and there's, you know, some big carp in there as well as a uh, um, chub and barbel. So, fingers crossed that's worked, and we'll, we'll go fish that for quite a few hours later on. Rest the swim all day, and then come back tonight for Revenge of the Churner. Be careful, mate. There's a big old bag coming. What a lovely day, though. Yeah. Lovely day. Just get there. Oh, we'll spin on the gravel. Yeah. <laughs> I can see a beautiful game. face now, sorry. <laughs> Wee. Wee. Right, over Look at that crow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's going to get a size. He's got like, a massive conker in his mouth. Go on, son. It? He's got your hook bait there.
just swimming towards you, isn't it? Oh no. Oh. Oh dear. They're back. I can't even really remember what this was looking like. Yeah. There's a... Oh well. That's fishing for you boys. You win some, you lose some. What we've got here then, a nice 70 pound brace. Well these zip things are annoying. But handy. I'm recording. Give her a little bit of water. Oh, I love it when you do that. She'll be alright once I get her up. Just let her fresh around a little bit. There we go. After I just had a disaster, a 38 pounder, really nice dark one that I couldn't get to film because I dropped it. First fish I've ever dropped whilst uh, in the water, which is absolutely beating me up. I saved it a couple of times and eventually it just it just flopped out. But this is a second. This was a second part of a couple of fish I had last night. 33, 33, 12, wasn't it? Yeah, 33, 12. Give it up for you. Beautiful common. Yeah, she's nice. Yeah, she's a lovely one. I'll show you the other side. I'm gonna get her back. She's more behaved this one. Trip, I want to get one of these Bill's Lake Mega Beasts. Cannot believe I dropped that fish. I'm absolutely gutted by that. Head up yeah. or down? That's perfect, mate. Oh. Let's get her back. Good condition, isn't it? Yeah, they are. They all seem to be really mint in here. To be fair. Off to the decks. Ooh, look, this, that's the crab. That is <laughs> S4 free that it was shitting on me. Oh, it still smells. <laughs> the power of the rich worth. You see that? Yeah. All over you, mate. That crumb, isn't it? There's no other bait that I've known that they, the fish shit out, like, like eat it as much. It's mad. So I thought I'd just take you through the rig that I've, uh, well, I had two, the first one I did actually catch on a, on a, on a D rig, but I, I slightly swapped it over. I felt like I needed a little bit more movement. And um, the fish are very finicky here at Bill's Lake. The f Bill's Lake one, um, we've been getting done quite a bit. And you can just tell, every everything that they do, they're trying to shed the hook, they swim towards you, they're very finicky feeders. I've watched, been watching them in the bay, like the way that they're feeding, they're very finicky. Um, it's been around for a long time now, 20 years, so they've been pressured by it. They've seen every rig basically. And although you know, I'm not saying it's some hot, rock hard, low stock pit, but it's, it's, they are very riggy. So I decided to, to, to move over to this. This is just a very basic, you can use this as a, this is a very cut down like snowman. It's a, like a, just a steam, stemmy stiff material. This is the Jelly Warrior in 25 pounds in that nice green color. And the reason why I chose this, a brilliant product. I've been using this for a while now, it's the PB Jelly Wire. Basically it steams really, really stiff still enough flex in it that it can go across the kind of contours of the bottom but it, it pushes it away but the thing that makes the beautiful feature of this product is the the, the braid underneath and what i do is i mess around with, with the uh, the fibers and make it really really loose and that just gives you that if i if i hold that there you get such flexibility and I, I felt that the, the D-Rig was getting done a little bit. You know, I like a D-Rig on the big end, but I was definitely had fish over me and I was, I was definitely getting done. I had a couple of times where I felt like I was getting done and this, I swapped it over to this. I had two fish that, that morning. Um, so yeah, it's d done me the trick. It's a size four kind of wide gate style hook, nice and sharp. The uh, hook bait itself is a um, just a straight out of the bag um, S-Core 3 Arctic Crab tipped with a, a, one of the little micro pop-ups. And I'll show you all the bits individually. We'll do some close-ups. But that's the rig, a little bit of the putty on there, some of the PB putty, it's really heavy stuff and that just helps push it away and pin it all down to the depth.
proper behaving, unlike my one. Banging. Nice one. Morning. Well well done, mate. Well done. 56 pound, two ounces. New PB? New PB. Bill's Lake. The final day, isn't it? Can't Look at her glistening in the sun. I think we all know what time it is. <laughs> time for a bucket. What a beauty. <laughs> Go, Go on, on boys. Let's Give get me it. Worst. <laughs> 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 Right, go on, let's get her back. Yeah, take some more fishes now. Oh, you've upset her, Jay. Sorry, man. Get the fucking fish, bro. Right. night saloon and it's happened again so many times I've just you know prayed to the cart gods and it's come, it's come true but just got a new PB biggest fish in the lake I think it's called the round one it was a set uh, 71 8 absolute madness it's just lounging down there I've got only a few hours and we've got to be off the lake so it keeps keeps happening um, over the years so many times you keep that fish in those same areas keep fishing on top of that bait keeps tricking in the big girls eventually come along I thought it I thought it was it um, really to be honest that uh, I work, the bites have been coming sort of early morning and, and night and I woke up it had been very very quiet at about four and I was like oh it's not going to happen and then just as I was drifting back off to sleep green is ro ro uh, middle rod I think or right hand rod ripped off and it was a bream and he cast it back out and just as he was doing that big old fit big fish boss yeah. proper biggest one we've heard um, on the left um, literally right near my left hand rod and then five minutes later it, it ripped off with that fish and to be fair for a big fat it is a big fatty yeah, it's a big massive. fat bbw churner <laughs> <laughs> and uh, normally those big girls they uh don't tend to put up too much of a fight but started stripping line out of me first i thought oh i might have a cat on here but it just felt felt different and it, it sort of put up a good account for itself and we got it it wasn't relatively stress-free really wasn't it? it was like yeah. although it was taking line and churning it, it wasn't trying to do me in any snag or whatever popped it up i knew it was a big and straight away you Green and new, he goes, oh, it's the penny, because we called it the, the toffee penny, because it's like that big round thing. So, oh, big, it's the, it's the, I just didn't think it would be, like, 70 pounds is crazy. That smashed my PB, boy. How, how, how much? 15 pounds? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, more, than, yeah, 15 pounds, it smashed my PB, boy, plus more than 15 pounds, 15, 16 pounds. So, French PB has been sm obliterated. Not, uh, I don't think I'll be um, catching a bigger, bigger fish for a while, that's for sure. And, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. My head's gone, got to pack up. I'll be off in a few hours. She's just lounging down there just as the light comes up. What dance did you do? The day I did yes, yesterday, I did the carp dance. And How's it the go? Carp gods. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> Listen to me, didn't you? Me, it should have been me. <laughs> so, I sacrificed a few bodies in the edge, little dance, and the carp gods listened. And it's funny because the whole way up to this trip, I was saying to the lads, I want that fish, want that fish, want that fish. So it's happening. Who's that coming along now? Bad man Blue. What did you say, Green on? All right, Blue. What did you say yesterday? Well, Billy's going to have call it. it. Yeah. Take that hat off. Um, not that not hat. That's what I was talking about. Did you call it? Well, it's going to come out. Yeah, you said, yeah, you said Billy loved the biggest yeah, in I the did. lake. Yes, mate. Yes, mate, man. wait until you see this thing, mate. I can't wait. Mate, I, I can't fucking wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to help yes, me, mate. <laughs> Gonna get some buckets tonight. We got a bucket, Billy. Bro, 100%. <laughs> I said get some beer on him as well, but he wasn't having it. Nah, I can't believe that. <laughs> you just made me jump out of bed here in that news. Let me tell you. No way did I want to get up. Oh, Jesus, this Lord took me many years to beat this PB. 70s cub. Here we are. Was it the round fish? 71A on the Richworth and the Escort crab. 
Okay. Put the boys behind the camera. Get, get behind the cap. Get behind the fish, Come boys. Go, 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 quick. All get in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout, oh, shout like the big one. Ready? One, two, three. The oh, big one! one. <laughs> oh, it's got, uh, 71. Could barely hoist it. She's so big. What was it called? It's the round one. Go on, boys. Get, let me have it. Give it to him, boys. Hey! Oh, ah. Yeah, oh, keep going. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> Let's uh, flip it round. Get some. That was great. Love that. <laughs> like a little wet dog now. <laughs> Get some video of it going away. Yeah. Nice, mate. Oh, it's right in the air. There we go. It's cracked. Absolute monster. Gills are going. See you later, gorgeous. Submarine. What up, mate? Come on, lad! Hey! Look at that strand!